Um, today I kind of wanted to go through uh, some different twists, so I'm doing a lot of kind of twisting. Uh, my idea behind this, I feel like, one, it can be difficult to breathe while twisting, so I want to kind of focus on that, focusing on keeping like a steady, smooth breath as we're going through these twists. And I'm going to relate these kind of twists to these very strange times and questionable times that are going on here. So um, when, when we do face these difficult times in life and these uncertainties, it can also be very difficult to breathe and kind of just stay grounded through them. So I challenge you to uh, practice that in the twists that we do during class. Um, so that you can see as we as we twist and put our bodies in these difficult positions what generally tends to happen with the breath and what tends to happen with your thoughts as well so then what you can do to help mitigate that and create uh, still a smooth steady breath and a kind of grounding feeling and sensation within the body as we're going through these difficult twists as well so Let's get set up on your mat if you're not there already. Uh, yeah, so we'll start in a seated position. Cool. So just whatever's comfortable for you, whether that is cross-legged or you can sit with your shins on the ground. You can sit on if you have your own block or you can roll up a blanket or a towel underneath the, the sit bones to help raise the body up a little. Cool. But just gently close the eyes and begin to focus on that breath, noticing where it's at, noticing where it is today. I notice how the breath might feel different coming from a place of uncertainty. Right? When we're all kind of unsure what is going to happen over the next two or three weeks how this pandemic is going to play out. Notice if the breath is a little short, how you can actively control that to deepen the breath. So we'll start to deepen the breath in and out. Right? Notice as you actively control the breath, deepening the breath, it has a sensation through the body as well. Right, so it causes that calming of the body as you control the breath. And as you breathe in, allow that to elevate and lift the chest, lift the shoulders. As you breathe out, allow those shoulders to relax down the back, release any tension you might be feeling. Take three more breaths, trying to lengthen each breath a little longer than the previous breath. Right, until you get to that point where you're really taking in the most amount of air as you can. And you're expelling, pressing out the most amount of air possible as well. Next, inhale, keep it with a nice deep full breath. Bring those arms up and overhead, reaching tall. As you exhale, we're gonna twist over to the right. Take that right hand behind you, left hand to the knee. Uh, steady the spine straight up and twist a little deeper. So I am aware on the camera on the phone, I'm pretty sure I am reverse from everything that you're seeing, which is kind of funny how the selfie camera totally mirrors everything. So if you notice my side looks different than what I'm saying, that's what it is. But we'll all get it. We'll get both sides in no matter what. Inhale the hands up and overhead. Exhale, twist over to the left. Place that right hand to the front of the knee. Left hand behind you to post up the spine. All right, gazing over that left shoulder. Good. Inhale, bring it back through center. We'll go one more time each side. Exhale, take it over to the right. Lengthening the spine, twisting. Good. Inhale, bring it back through center. 
And then exhale, take it to the left. Good. Inhale, bring it through center. And we're going to exhale, bring the hands to the floor in front of you. I want to keep yourself in that cross-legged position as you start to inch your hands out further in front. So we're coming into a bit of a forward fold here. Some of you might not really come down low at all, and that's okay. Just lean however far you can. Some of you might bring that chest all the way to the ground. Right, wherever you can, just feel that stretch. Right, lengthening the spine as you reach forward, feeling the hips kind of open here. Cool, and then inhale, we'll walk it back through center. Let's switch these legs out. So take whatever leg was in front and take it to the inner hip and we'll take the other one back in front. We'll do the same here. So one more forward fold, walk those hands forward as you fold. it back up through center. Nice. And then roll over onto your hands and knees coming through our tabletop. I'll switch this position make it a little better here. So hands are planted on the mat. The pits of the elbows roll forward. So externally rotate the shoulders to open the chest. The knees are under the hips. All right now let's start with some cat cow so you get that movement through the spine. Inhale, drop the belly to lift the chest. Looking up. Pull the shoulders back and down. Exhale, tuck the chin around the spine, press the floor away. Cool, two more like that. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the chin around the spine, press the floor, tuck the tailbone under. One more, inhale. Good, and then exhale. Good, inhale, bring it back through center. We're gonna circle out through the body. All right, so just make some nice big fluid circles with the body. Bring the hips and shoulders forward over to one side, back towards your heels, then up the other side. Add in any movement that feels good and natural to you here. So let those hips kind of sway from side to side. Uh, all right, feel that movement through the lower back so that the spine feels as fluid as you can. Try to press the rib cage from side to side. Let's go in the opposite direction as well. Again, any movement that feels good and natural to you, just warming up through the body. Notice each one of the joints kind of moving here from your wrists, your shoulders, your knees, and hips. Everything moving nice and fluid. Good. Nice. And then bring it back through center. I want you to drop the hips all the way down. So we're going to come to a lazy up dog. Bring those hips forward. Keep the arms posted here. Let the hips kind of sink, but keep drawing the chest forward. Keep those shoulders away from the ears so the chest is nice and open. Good. And then exhale. Take it back to a child's pose from here. Hips all the way back towards the heels. And then we're going to rock back and forth two more like that. So inhale, come forward up through your tabletop, and then let those hips drop all the way down, open the chest. Good, exhale, take it all the way back to your child's pose, hips to your heels. Two, or one more, one more. Inhale, shift forward, hips all the way down. Good, exhale, bring it back to your child's pose. And then this time, just bring it to your tabletop again. We're going to go through our thread the needles here. So inhale your right arm up, open the chest up. The hand reaches to the ceiling. Try to get as close to a straight line from that bottom wrist all the way through that arm, the shoulders, the top arm. And then exhale, thread the needle. Take that right arm, take it all the way under the left here, reaching to that left side. We're going to come up for two more like that. So inhale, press into your left hand. Your right arm lifts. Exhale, thread the needle on. All right, inhale, lift all the way. Good. This time we're going to stay there. Exhale, thread the needle all the way under. Allow the right shoulder, right side of the head to come down to the mat. Maybe that left arm walks straight forward, reaching to the front of the mat. All right, option for that left leg to extend back behind you as well. 
starting to lengthen through the side of the body. Go two big breaths. Good, lower the left knee back down to the mat. The right hand comes in front of the face. Inhale your right arm up, opening the chest. Good, and then exhale, bring it back to your tabletop from here. We'll do the same on the other side. So starting to really warm up the spine for these twists here. Inhale the left arm up, reaching open high to the sky, chest open. Exhale, thread the needle under, reaching over and across. We'll go up two more times. Inhale to reach. Good, exhale to thread the needle. We'll go up one more time, getting that mobility through the thoracic spine as you inhale the arm up. Exhale, the left arm goes all the way under and through, left shoulder down to the mat. Rest your head down on the mat as well. Reach that right arm straight forward, right? Maybe coming onto the fingertips there, I like that. And then that right leg can extend straight back behind you as well. Good. Feel that opening, stretching the upper back, right? Stretching that right side of the body a little here as well. Good. And then bring the back knee down to the mat. The right hand in front of the face. Inhale. The left arm all the way up. Good. And then exhale. We'll bring it back down to the mat. Nice. We're going to do some more cat-cows, but a slightly different variation from here. So make sure the uh, toes are untucked so the tops of the feet are on the ground. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, just like your normal cow position. As you exhale for your cat, I want you to try to press the tops of the feet into the mat to lift the knees and press the floor away. So the knees come maybe six inches away from the ground, really engage the core, pressing the floor away. And then inhale to lower the knees, drop the belly, lift the chest, coming back to your cat. Good, as you exhale, tops of the feet down, lifting the knees, rounding the spine even more here. And then inhale, lower down. Open the chest, shoulders pull back. Let's go one more time. Exhale, tuck the chin around the spine, knees will lift. Good. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Relax, right, bring it back to that neutral position. Hands plant on the floor, tuck the toes under. We'll take our downward facing dog. So first down dog here, taking some time to pedal it out. All right, bend one knee, press the opposite heel down to the floor. Hips sway from side to side. Oh, very good. All right, so then find that stillness. All right, heels drawing down towards the mat, pressing the hands into the floor, the chest draws towards the thighs. Try to get the spine as long as you can. The tailbone lifts a little higher. And then inhale high onto the toes. We'll shift forward through your high plank. As you do this, try to keep some rounding in the spine. So the lower rib cage is really pulling up and in the whole time you're shifting forward and then coming down through that high plank, even it out. Good. Holding here, the heels are over the toes. Notice the wrists are, or the shoulders are a little over the wrists. They're really coming forward here. On your exhale, take it back to your down dog. All right, so let's do two more like that. Inhale, high on the toes, tuck the lower rib cage in, rounding the spine as you shift forward. Good. And then exhale, take it back to your down dog. Mm -hmm. We'll go one more. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Good. Exhale, take it back, down dog. Very good. Let's take your feet a little wider on the mat here, taking them about hips width apart. We can walk the hands back towards the feet just a little here, maybe six to eight inches. Take your right hand and reach it to your left ankle. So you're going to reach to that left ankle, the back of the calf, kind of twisting under the body, looking under that left arm width. Good. We'll release that right hand down. Take the left hand to the ankle or the back of the calf. And right, looking under the right armpit this time. Good, exhale, to release. Let's walk those hands all the way back towards the feet this time. So we're towards kind of the back of the mat. Make sure I'm still on camera here. Let's grab opposite elbows to let that body sway a little side to side. 
So notice you can keep a nice bend in the knees. That might feel better. All right, if you straighten the legs, there's a lot of tension on the hamstrings. Right, you might even feel that into your lower back, a little tension. But if you soften the knees, you can release through the lower back a little more as well. Right, maybe straightening one leg and then the other. Head and neck hang loose. Good, exhale, release those hands down to the mat. Let's inhale to a halfway lift. So come up halfway, a nice flat, strong back. Keep the neck nice neutral extension of the spine so you're not like straining to look up or looking all the way down, but neutral, looking straight to the floor. Exhale, fold it back down. And then inhale, come all the way up, hands overhead, reaching tall. Good, exhale, hinge of the hips, forward fold. We'll do two half salutations. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. And then inhale all the way up, hands overhead, reaching tall, really connecting movement with breath. Still try to have a nice long, deep breath as much as you can. Exhale all the way back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then inhale all the way up, hands overhead, reaching tall. Cool. From here, we're going to exhale into a twist. So bring your right arm back behind you, left arm forward as you twist. And maybe gazing over that right arm, but make sure that hip stays in line so your hips are square to the front as much as you can still. Good. Inhale, bring it back through center, arms overhead. And we'll twist to the other way. Exhale, bring it back. Again, try to keep the hips square to the front as much as you can. Arms reach in opposite directions, gazing over the back arm. And then inhale, bring it back through center. From here, let's take it to a little back bend. So maybe you cactus the arms, or maybe take those hands to the lower back as the hips shift forward, the chest opens high. Good. And then inhale, we'll bring it back through center. Exhale as you fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. And exhale, hands to the mat. So we're on the back of our mat already. Hands are gonna come down, we're gonna walk them forward. So try to keep the legs as straight as you can as you walk the hands forward into your high plank. Nice. Good, exhale here, lower down, elbows close into the body. Try to lower halfway down, maybe lower to your knees if you have to. Just don't let those hips touch the ground first. So those hips stay slightly lifted either way. Inhale, press upward facing dog. The chest stays open. And then exhale to your downward facing. Nice. Cool. Let's inhale the right leg up from here. So holding it straight and strong, the pinky toe points straight down to the ground. Try to lift the heel nice and high, but pressing it towards the back of the rump, back of the room as well. And exhale, step it in between the head. So we're gonna lower that back knee down. Let's rise up to our low lunge. So bring the hands up and overhead. All right, the hips are square to the front, so they're in line with one another. You're trying to sink them forward and down towards the front of the mat. All right, and as you're doing that, try to keep the core strong and engaged, though the arms reach high. All right, let's grab onto the left wrist from here. Reach up and over to the right. So side body stretch. Good, inhale, bring it back through center. And as we exhale, we're gonna take a twist. So bring that right arm back behind you. Bring your left hand to the outside of the knee to kind of help twist, aiding in that twist a little more. That right arm comes back, right? Notice the breath here. So keep a slow, steady breath. Good, inhale, bring it back through center. The arms will come overhead. And then exhale, hands to the mat as you straighten the front leg. So we'll take our half split from here as well. Again, maybe shifting that foot a little further forward. All right, hands down to the floor. Try to feel stable in the hand. So even if you have to put, maybe you put pillows under your hands, maybe you grab a couple books or whatever if they're not reaching the floor. The toes will flex towards the body. All right, and notice my hips are not behind this knee. So my hips are stacked over maybe a little bit further in front, not sitting all the way back here. I see some people doing this. You're not getting nearly as much hamstring stretch. If you want to take it further, move this foot 
further forward away from you, right? From here, option, walk these hands to the outside of the leg. So out to the right side of your mat, if it's your right leg, uh, and trying to hold both legs down, or even you can take one to the outside of the calf. Uh, and then inhale, we'll bring it back through center. Uh, let's bend into that front knee, tuck the back toes under, hands to the mat. Let's step that right foot back to meet the left. So we're in our high plank again, lower down, chaturanga, elbows close into the body. Inhale, upward facing. And then exhale to your downward face. Very good, inhale the left leg up this time. Straight back behind you, toes point down to the ground. The heel stays nice and lifted. Good. As you exhale, step that foot in between the hands. Then lower that back knee down. Bring the arms up and overhead. So we're lifting up here, right? The hips square to the front, sink them forward and down. Try to feel that stretch in the upper part of the right leg as the arms lift up. Ooh, a couple of deep breaths in, keep trying to sink it down a little deeper. Any movements that you can to feel more stretch in that upper part of the right leg. Maybe that lower ribcage stays tucked in arms shift forward. Let's grab onto the right wrist, reach up and over to the left. All right, so inhale, bring it back through center, and then we'll twist. Bring your left arm back behind you, the right hand come to the outside of that knee to help twist it open. The left arm peels back behind you, looking to that left hand if you can. Nice. Inhale, swing it back up and through center. Exhale. We'll take our hands to the mat for our half splits. So, all right, and try to create more distance between that left heel and your right knee. And hands down towards the floor, toes flex to the body. All right, really keep that left heel grounded into the mat. Think about pulling your left hip further back. So you're creating more space between that left heel and your left hip as you pull back. And then take both hands to the outside of that left leg. So the left hand's down on the mat, the right hand maybe just makes it to the outside of the shin, maybe it makes it to the floor, wherever you are, maybe even grab onto that foot, get a little extra stretch through the hammy. Ah. Good. And then we can inhale, bring it back to root center. We can bend back into that front knee. Hands will come to the floor. We're going to step it back. Tuck the back toes under. Left foot goes back to meet the right. Exhale as you lower down. Elbows close to the body. Try to get just a 90 degree angle at the elbows. And then inhale, press up. Good. Exhale, take it back to your down dog. So on your inhale, let's bend through the knees, look to the front of the mat, step it forward into your fold. Inhale to your halfway. Exhale to fold. Then inhale all the way up, hands overhead, reaching tall. Let's go through those twists one more time. I'll face you again. Exhale, bring your right arm back, left arm forward. All right, keep the right hip pulling forward. Inhale through center. Exhale, left arm back. Right arm forward, keep the hips squared off. Good, inhale, bring it back through center. Exhale to a back bend, hands to the back, or maybe just cactusing the arms, opening chest. Good, inhale, bring it back through center. And then I want you to bring your feet close together here. So you're gonna sit down into a chair pose from here. As you inhale, scoop the arms up, bend through the knees, shift the hips back. So my arms are reaching nice and tall. Make sure the hips are pressing back behind you so your weight is in your heels. All right, you should be able to pick your toes up off the ground, wiggle them around a little. Keep the arms lifting high. Uh, back down. Cool. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step it back into your high plank. All right, lower down. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
Very good. Let's inhale your right arm up. We're going to bend the knee and stack the hips. So notice as you're doing this, you're trying to get some twist through the whole spine here. Right? Try to keep the shoulders squared off to the front. The hips are stacked. Maybe make some circles with your ankle. Maybe make some circles with the knee, opening through the hip. Uh, I had a leg day in the gym yesterday. My legs are super tight, but this feels really good. Moving in the opposite direction as well. Uh, bend the knees, stack the hips again. As you exhale, step that right foot in between the hands. Right, high crescent, keep all 10 toes pointed forward. Back heel lifted. Arms come up and overhead. Right, keeping this nice bend in the front knee so that the eyes come in almost parallel to the ground or at least close enough to it as you can. This back leg is pulling up. So the back of your knee pulling up towards the ceiling as that back heel stays nice and high here. Chest squared off. Keep working with these small adjustments. Everything's about small micro adjustments here. All right, how you can deal with the breath. Nice, slow, smooth breath. Arms reach tall. On your exhale, we're gonna twist. Bring your right arm back behind you. Left arm reaches straight forward. All right, so that right arm's reaching back. Left arm's reaching forward. Try to keep that back leg straight even as you're twisting. Good, and then inhale, bring it back through center. Exhale, warrior two, turn your back heel flat on the mat, arms come parallel to the ground. All right, keep a nice bend in this front knee, keep it over the ankle, arms reaching, pulling opposite directions. All right, press that back foot down into the mat. As you inhale, turn the front palm up to face the ceiling. Exhale, reverse, reach it up and back. Keep that same bend in the front knee and don't let it cave into the center. Reach it up, stretch out that right side body, and then inhale, cart with the hands forward and down to the mat. Exhale as you step back, high plank, lowering down through your chaturanga. Inhale upward, and exhale to your downward facing. Awesome, let's take it to the other side here. Inhale the left leg up, bend the knee, and stack the hips. All right, keep those shoulders as squared off as you can. That left knee high to the ceiling, glute or heel to the glute. And right, make some ankle circles. And then make some big circles with that left leg. Try to get as much range of motion through that hip as you can. All right, go in the opposite direction as well. Nice and controlled. Good. Bend the knees, stack the hips, and then exhale, step that foot in between the hands. Come up for your high crescent from here. All right, so setting up that strong base. Don't be afraid to reposition the feet as you're coming up. Arms lift overhead. Good. Sinking into that front knee, sinking into the thigh. The arms lift, the rib cage tucks in, arms pull back. That back heel stays nice and high. All right, the back knee pulling up to the ceiling. Checking in with your breath, trying to keep it slow and smooth. And on your exhale, we'll twist. Bring the left arm back behind your right arm forward. Right, so the arms pulling in opposite directions. Keep the back leg straight and keep the breath smooth and steady. All right, even in this difficult twisted position, there are so many other things to think about. Focus it on the breath. Good, on your inhale, bring it back up and through center. And then exhale, warrior two. Turn that back heel down on the mat. You can readjust the feet a little. So try to make a nice straight line from your heel to heel. All right, those arms reach out. All right, notice how my torso is kind of right in the center of both feet. Sometimes people are kind of really leaning into that front leg. Try to even out the weight in both feet as much as you can. Lift the arch of the back foot so you feel that inner leg engage. Press down through the outer pinky edge side of the foot. Let's inhale that front palm up to face ceiling. Now you're gonna reach forward a little. Keep the lower body exactly the same. Exhale to reach back. Good, inhale, carve with the hands forward and down to the mat, step it back, high plank. All right, lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale up. And then exhale to your downward face. 
Very good. So let's inhale. We can bend through the knees, look to the front of the mat. We can step or hop forward into your fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to fold. And then inhale all the way up, hands overhead, reaching tall. Good. As you exhale, bring them back down by your side. We prepare for another uh, chair pose so those feet are nice and close together. Nice. Let's inhale, swoop the arms up, bend through the knees, sit back and down. Sit down a little lower than your last one. Those arms reach up a little higher. Weight is still in your heels. Let's exhale, hands to heart center. Good. We're going to take this into a twist. Bring your left up, arm to the outside of the right leg, twisting to the right. All right, keep those knees in line with one another. Double check the knees. All right, palms press down into one another. Forearms are stacked. All right, just inhale, bring it back through center. Lengthen the spine. And then exhale, twist. Bring that right elbow to the top of the right thigh, left arm on top. All right, stacking the forearms, twisting open. Good, inhale, bring it back through center. Keep those knees bent, sit down a little lower if you can, and then exhale, straighten them out, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step it back, high to low plank. Right. Inhale, upward facing. And then exhale to your downward facing. Cool. Let's go through that same sequence one more time, one breath, one movement, and then we'll add on. So inhale the right leg up, bend the knee, and stack the hips. As you exhale, step that foot in between the hands. Inhale up, high crescent. Exhale, twist it open. Good. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, the front palm up, face ceiling. Exhale, reverse. And then inhale, carve with the hands down to the mat. Exhale as you step back and lower down. Inhale up. Exhale, downward facing. Right into the other side. Inhale, left leg up, bend the knee and stack the hips. Exhale, step it in between the hands. Inhale up to your high crescent. Cool, exhale, twist it open. Left arm back, right arm forward. Right, so inhale back through center. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, the front palm up, face ceiling. Exhale, to reverse. Good, and then inhale to cover the hands all the way forward and down to the mat. Exhale as you step it back and lower down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Very good. Let's take three breaths here. Again, connecting with that smooth breath. Even though the heart rate's going a little quick, the body's a little stressed, right? Try to smooth and slow down the breath. Keep control of that nervous system. Good, on your next inhale, we can bend through the knees, look to the front of the mat, step or hop into your fold. Inhale to your halfway. Exhale to fold. Then inhale all the way up, hands overhead, reaching tall. Good. Bring those feet close together. Again, you can bring the arms by your side. Then we're going to go into a chair pose, but we're going to add on from there. We're going to take it a little differently here. Let's inhale, bend through the knees, swoop the arms up into your chair pose. Good. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring that left elbow to the right thigh. Right? Hands are squeezed together. Forearms are stacked. We're on our twist. We are just here. We're going to add this into our crescent lunge. So start to shift weight into your right foot. As you hover the left foot away from the mat, slow and controlled, step it back into your twisted crescent lunge. All right, so keep that back leg nice and straight. You're high on the toes. Good. Some of you might be able to open the arms up here. All right, that left arm coming down towards the ground. Good. And then we're going to come up from here into our... Uh, Revolve, or revolve crescent. So our right arm's coming all the way back. That right hand maybe comes back to the left side, the left hand up and overhead. All right, that's good. And then inhale, come back through center from here. Exhale, take it to your warrior two. 
All right, so let's straighten this front leg. So we'll shake out those hips a little. All right, toes pointed straight forward, heels in line. We're gonna take that right hand, reach up and back. So reverse triangle here. And then inhale, shift forward into your triangle pose. Bring that right arm all the way forward towards the front, keeping length in that right side of the body. Right hand to the inside of the shin, left arm up. Cool. So try to engage the left obliques here. So that upper outside of the body, try to squeeze that lower ribcage towards your hip. So you're kind of squeezing that body that'll lengthen out the right side of the body. If you really want to feel what that engagement feels like, bring that right arm straight out towards the front. Right? Notice that left side body engage even tougher, engaging your obliques. Keep that left shoulder peeled back behind you though. So don't let that left shoulder roll forward for three, two, and one. Inhale, rise back up through center. Let those hips shift out a little bit here. We're going to go from here to a revolved triangle. So we'll start in the same way with our arms out and front. But instead of that right arm reaching forward, I want you to twist the torso. So keep the body where the lower body where it is. Try to twist the torso so the chest squares off towards the front. And that left arm is going to reach forward and down, maybe just to your shin. So the shin would be a good place to put that arm. The right arm is going to try to lift. Some of you might bring that left hand down to the ground, or if you have a block or something else uh, acting as a block right now, that can be good to use, but also to the front of the shin is okay. Good. And then inhale, we'll bring it all the way back through center. We're gonna turn all 10 toes to face the front here. So I'm gonna face you guys, so I have it. So all 10 toes are pointed in one direction. The feet are parallel to one another. We're gonna take our hands to our hips from here so that we're gonna make sure we're folding from the hips. Let me actually stand here. So hands to the hips, feet are parallel with one another. Take those hands from the hips, keep the back nice and straight, hinge from the hips. Let the hips shift back behind you a little. Keep the back as straight as you can for as long as you can. Good, nice straight, strong back. From there, as you exhale, when you can't go any lower, take the hands down to the mat and allow that upper back to round. All right, we'll kind of Sway from side to side, a little touch one foot, and then the other if that feels good. Good. And then bringing it back through center, hands come down to the mat. Let's inhale to your halfway lift. All right, so then you're gonna walk your hands over towards that right foot. So you're walking back towards the front of the mat. Hands plant on the floor. Step that right foot back to meet the left and take it to a side plank. So that right foot meets the left, roll to the outside of the left foot here. So we're gonna side plank. Get it here. Keep those hips lifting high, that rib cage pulling up, trying to create this arc with the body. Option maybe that right foot lifts. All right. Cool, for three. Two, pay attention here. I'd like that right foot to try to step to the front of the mat again. So that right foot goes back to the front of the mat. Keep your left hand down. Inhale that right arm up. Keeping that back leg as straight as you can. That's good. And then bring that right hand down inside of the right foot. Turn your back heel down on the mat. Inhale the left arm up for your side angle. If that's a little too much, that right forearm can come to the top of the right thigh. Totally okay. Good, and then inhale, we'll rise back up through center. Reverse your warrior, reach it up and back. Good, and then inhale, cartwheel the hands forward and down to the mat. We'll step it back, high plank. Lower down, flow through. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's go, other side to get through. So we'll have to inhale, bend through the knees. Look to the front of the mat, step or hop forward into your fold. Inhale to your halfway lift, exhale to fold. And then inhale all the way up, hands overhead, reaching tall. Good, we can exhale, bring those hands down. 
Bring the feet close together, big toes touch. And inhale, sit back and down, chair pose. Hips back behind you, tuck the tailbone under, a nice straight back, the arms reach up. Let's exhale and bring hands to heart center. Hmm. We're going to take that right elbow to the left thigh this time. So we're twisting open, right? Forearms are stacked. Again, shifting weight to the left foot. That right foot's going to start to float. Try to pause there for a moment, find that balance, right? And then slowly extend the right foot back. So we're in our nice deep twist. Forearms stacked over top of one another. Keep trying to lengthen the spine. Come onto the very tippy toes of that back foot. All right, maybe those arms open if that's there for you. Good, and then start to rise up. Twist the crescent lunge. Left arm reaches back, right arm reaches forward. Maybe that left hand to the back of the right thigh, right hand up and overhead. Good, and then inhale, bring it back through center. Exhale to your warrior two. Who from here will straighten that front leg. I right, let those hips shake out a little. The left arm's gonna reach up and back. Good, and then inhale to bring it back through center. Reach that left arm as far forward as you can. Bring it down to the inside of the shin, right arm up. So again, try to notice engaging that right side body. So instead of letting that left shoulder tip down, try to engage the right obliques here, lift up. Again, shortening the space between the lower right rib cage and that right hip. Try to squeeze there. Very good. Option to take that left hand straight forward here. Keep that right shoulder rolled back so the shoulders stay stacked. We'll hold for three, two, and one. Inhale. Rise back up through center. Shake out those hips again. Oh, almost through here. We'll take our twist. Let's shift the chest off towards the front of your mat. All right, chest totally squares off here. We'll bring that right hand all the way around to the top of the shin. That left arm is going to come up. Again, some of you might bring that right hand to the ground or a block or some substitute for a block. But that left arm reaches high. Good. As we bring it back down, we'll come back up through center. Turn all ten toes to face one or to face the front. The uh, feet are parallel with one another. Uh, we're going to take that fold again. So hands to your hips. Start to shift forward. Keep the back as straight as you can for as long as you can. We'll bring those hands down to the ground, keeping the back straight here. If you can't keep, if you can't reach the ground with the back straight. Maybe a block or a book, something under that right hand. But I'd like that right hand directly under the face. And then inhale, the left arm up here. So the spine stays straight as you twist. You don't want to twist from a rounded position. Try to straighten it out and then twist that left arm up. Then exhale, bring the left hand down under the face. Inhale, the right arm up. And try to keep the spine as long as you can as you're twisting. Good. Exhale, bring it back through center. Walk the hands back to the front of the mat. Turn all ten toes to face the front. And then we'll take our side plank, rolling on to the outside edge of the right foot. Left foot goes back here. Right, so we're in our side plank. The hips are lifting high. Maybe that left foot lifts if it's there for you. For three, two, and one. The left foot to the top of the mat here. Keeping that right hand down, we're going to twist that left arm up. Shoulders are stacked, arms in a straight line. Good. Exhale, lower that left hand inside the left foot, turn the back heel down. Inhale, the right arm up. But again, option, maybe you move up to the forearm on the thigh, if that's better for you. Good. Nice, and then inhale, roll all the way back up, reverse warrior. Keep the bend in the front knee, the left arm reaches up and back. And then inhale, cartwheel the hands all the way forward and down to the mat, step it back, high to low plank. Inhale up. 
Exhale down. Boom. We're going to walk our feet to the outside to the hands into a yogi squat. So I'll face you from here. So sitting back and down into your yogi squat, press those elbows into the knees so wide and up. The chest is open. So we did work on our regular crow pose yesterday. I'd like to give you the option for that here to take your regular crow, but we've also been playing a lot with twists. So if you know that you have your side crow or you would like to give it a shot, feel free. But if you're not comfortable with it, go into your regular front crow uh, or even just stay here in this yogi squat. So I'll guide the side crow, um, but you take whichever variation you would like. We'll play around for about a minute or so. But if you want to take those feet close together and sit down onto your heels. All right, several variations to get into this. This is one that I like the best, so we'll go with this one. We'll take our hands off to the right. Uh, so those hands are gonna come uh, even with one another, trying to get the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Come high onto your tippy toes, right? Maybe even lifting that right foot, the left foot can stay down, right? Create that shelf with the left elbow as your legs start to lift. Let's keep those elbows squeezing together. Three, two, and one. Bring it back through center, or continue going with your regular crow. Hang out in the lasana, all acceptable options. We're just gonna do the other side, and then we're really gonna bring it down here. So let's take, so high on your heels, so you're on the balls of your feet. Both hands coming to the side of your mat. All right, that right elbow making contact with the left knee. All right, your job is to get that knee as high up on the tricep as you can. Maybe walk those feet out a little. I like to take that inside foot away from the mat and then the other one. Keep those elbows stacked like a shelf. We'll hold here for three, two, and one. Coming back through center. Let's come into a forward fold wide leg, or about as wide as your mat at least. Taking those hands down, grab opposite elbows, sway side to side again here. Uh, letting those knees bend, letting the body rest and relax. All right, letting go of all tension. Let that upper body melt away. Maybe sway a little from side to side if you release your hands. Good. And then one more inhale, halfway lift. Maybe a nice deep bend in the knees, make it a little easier on yourself. As you exhale, hands to the mat. We're going to come to a lying position, so lie all the way down on your back. Hug those knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. A little rock side to side. Nice. Good job. Got through the difficult part of class. And right, now, a little easier, a little slower. Again, notice how your body, your mind, your breath reacts to that change in pace as well. So keep your right knee into your chest, extend your left leg long. Guide that right knee over to the left side of the body. Really try to roll to the outside of that left hip as best you can. Keep the right shoulder flat on the mat. All right, gazing over that right arm. Nice, nice deep, slow breath here. So again, notice as you're breathing in this twist, because the torso is twisted, and there's less space in the torso, it's a lot easier to just take a short and shallow breath, right? Just as when we're in this crazy world, in these crazy times, we're faced with adversity, differences, right? It can be difficult to focus on the breath and slow down. But really we'll do what you can here to still take as deep a breath as possible even as you're in this twisted 
position. Bring it back through center. I will take the opposite knee, left knee into the chest, right leg extends long. Uh, hugging that left knee into the chest, give it a squeeze, and then guide it over to the right side of the body. So almost, I like to shift onto that right hip before I even start twisting. And then take that right knee all the way over to the side. The left arm opens up, gaze over that left arm. Again, nice deep, full breath. Calm the body down. Slow the heart rate down. I keep deep breath even in this twisted, difficult position. center. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze and maybe rock a little side to side. Go grab the opposite feet or grab the outside edge of the feet for a happy baby pose and rock. Just a nice fun light way to finish practice. Maybe straighten one leg and then the other. Whatever feels good here. And then allow the feet to lower to the mat. You can just extend them straight out on the mat. Allow your arms to fall by your side. Give yourself a moment of rest. A moment of relaxation. Some relief from all the circumstances outside. But knowing that you're truly okay, you are doing well, and doing well for yourself so that you can then do well for others. Slowly bring some movement back to the body. Reach the arms straight overhead. Lengthen out full body. Right, draw the knees in toward the chest. Roll over to your favorite side. Take a moment to pause here. Being grateful for making it to your mat. Mentally preparing to present your best self into the week. With whatever adversities might come forward. Use your hands to press back up to a seated position as you're ready. Cool. Thank you all for joining me on this beautiful journey. Joining me virtually from wherever you are. Keeping yourself safe. Keeping yourself healthy. Thank you for joining me once again. The light in me honors and respects the light in all of you. Namaste. All right.